Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, write the contrapositive and converse of the following statements. Let us first learn the concept of the contrapositive and the converse statements. The contrapositive of the statement, if P, then Q, is if not Q, then not P. That is, if we are given a statement in the form, if P, then Q, then its contrapositive is given by if not Q, then not P. For example, I say a statement that if you get more than 85%, you'll get a prize. So, the contrapositive of the statement will be if you don't get more than 85%, you'll not get a prize. So, this is what we mean by the contrapositive. If not Q, then not P. And the converse of the statement if P, then Q is if Q, then P. Let us now see the first statement. It says if X is a prime number, then X is odd. Now here we are given a statement in the form if P, then Q. Where P is the statement X is a prime number and X is the statement, Q is the statement which says X is odd. Now we have to write the contrapositive of the statement. So the contrapositive is now we know that the contrapositive is of the form if not Q then not P. So if X is not an odd number then X is not a prime number. Right. So we write the contrapositive of the statement if a number X is not odd then it is not a prime number. Now we have to write the converse of the statement. That means we have to write the converse of the statement. If x is prime then x is odd. And the converse of the statement is if q then p. So the converse will be if x is odd then x is prime. Now the second statement is if the two lines are parallel then they do not intersect in the same plane. So we have to write the contrapositive of the statement. Here the statement P is the two lines are parallel and the statement Q is the two lines do not intersect in the same plane. And the contrapositive is given by if not Q then not P. So The statement Q is the two lines do not intersect in the same plane. So not Q will be the negative of the statement that is they intersect in the same plane. Right. And not P is the lines are not parallel. So the contrapositive is. lines intersect in the same plane they are not parallel Now we have to write the converse of the statement. 
That means we have to write the converse of the statement if P then Q and its converse is given by if Q then P. So here Q is the two lines do not intersect in the same plane. So the converse is if two lines do not intersect in the same plane then they are parallel. So this is the converse of the second statement. Let's now see the third statement. It says something is cold implies that it has low temperature. That is, it's, the statement says if something is cold, then it is at low temperature. We have to write the contrapositive. The contrapositive is if not Q, then not P. So, if something is not at low temperature, it is not cold, right? So the contrapositive is, if something is not at low temperature, then it is not cold. Now we have to write the converse. The converse of the statement, if P then Q is, if Q then P. Here, the statement Q is, something is, is at the low temperature. And statement P is something is cold. So, if something is at low temperature, then that thing is cold. So, the converse is, if something is at low temperature, then it is cold. Let's now see the fourth statement. It says you cannot comprehend geometry if you do not know how to reason deductively. Here the statement P is you cannot comprehend geometry and the statement Q is you do not know how to reason deductively. And the statement of the form, if P then Q, has the contrapositive as if not Q then not P. So the statement Q is, you do not know how to reason deductively. Not Q means, you know how to reason deductively. And not P is, You can comprehend geometry because P is you cannot comprehend geometry. Not P is you can comprehend the geometry. So the contrapositive is, so the contrapositive is if you know how to reason deductively, then you can comprehend the geometry. Now we have to write the converse of the statement. And the converse of the statement, if P, then Q is given by if Q, then P. So here, Q is this, you do not know how to reason deductively and P is you cannot comprehend geometry. So the converse is, if you do not know how to reason deductively, then you cannot comprehend geometry. Let's now see the fifth statement, it says, x is an even number implies that x is divisible by 4. So, here the statement P is x is an even number and the statement Q is x is divisible by 4. So, the contrapositive
of the statement if p then q is given by if not q then not p. So if a number is not divisible by 4 then it is not an even number. This is the contrapositive. So the contrapositive of the statement if x is an even number then x is divisible by 4 is if x is not divisible by 4 then x is not an even number. Now we have to write the converse of the statement. The converse of the statement if p then q is if q then p. So the converse of the statement is if x is divisible by 4 then x is an even number. And this completes the question. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.